welcome back to the fire burns within channel time for another of my anniversary reviews van halen's for unlawful carnal knowledge turns 30 on the 18th of june it was released back in 1991 it's not an album i know at all and i should actually add that i'm not a fan of van halen's um I know he's a legend, he was a legend, rest in peace, but I've just never ever been a fan. Although I do like some of the big hits that they've got, but I've just, I've tried some of their albums in general, but for some reason I've never fully gotten into them. Anyway, I gave this album a chance, I thought 30 year anniversary. Let's give this one a go, you know, it'll be good to give it a shot, see how it goes. So I need to do this quickly, try to keep this video less than 10 minutes. I'm going to go through each song, quickly give my rating and then give the final roundup. Okay, song one, uh, Pound Cake. Didn't really like this opener. Uh, the solo is great from Eddie though. Still didn't like the song. Um, the bass is sort of like typically Van Halen-ish. Six out of ten for Pound Cake, I'm afraid. Track two is Judgment Day. Dirty, pounding, heavy riff starts the verse off. Uh, Sammy Hagar sounds good. The chorus is much, much nicer than Pound Cake. The riffs are better. Some better vocal melodies from Sammy. The guitar shred is decent. The bass is pumping as always. Uh, still not a huge fan of the song, but much better than Pound Cake. 7.5 out of 10. Track 3 is called Spanked. Um, it's got a heavy bass groove. Guitar is sort of taking the back seat. Chorus was underwhelming. Uh, not my thing at all, this song. Just a 5 out of 10 for Spanked. Didn't like that song at all. Track four is called Run Around. Um, this one's got a nice tempo. It's got a pumping bass line, a very raunchy vocal from uh, Sammy Hagar. Nice little melody in the pre-chorus. The chorus is quite simple. It's sort of, uh, re re the, the title is repeated, but it is effective. It, it, you know, it's, it's cool, it's catchy, decent song catchy vocal probably probably my favorite song so far but um still i i only gave it a 7.5 out of 10 but probably my favorite of the four so far next song is called pleasure dome it's the longest song on the album it's nearly seven minutes long um it's got sort of very nice drumming at the start lots of feels sort of very percussive very sort of uh the, the the groove of the song is very percussive it's not like a normal say catchy song it's sort of like a show-offy song let's say every instrument try to excel themselves to the maximum uh, yeah vocally i didn't find the song uh, really uh you know enticing or memorable Guitar wise, the song really picks up towards the end and Eddie gets to show off his undoubted skills. The this chorus is sort of spoken almost. It, it didn't it didn't really do a lot for me. The song in general, it didn't do anything for me. I I mean I don't know. Van Halen fans are gonna heap a whole ton of abuse on me, but I didn't like this song at all. Just a five out of ten. Track six is called In and Out. Uh, this one starts off with a very raunchy Sammy Hagar vocal, quite a bluesy vibe going on. Quite a, like it's got a, like a very swaggering, groovy riff. Um, the solo is great as usual from Eddie. No fault on that, but no real love for this song. Um, you know, I want to be generous, but. I only gave it a 6.5 out of 10 for in and out it it really didn't you know float my boat uh, it didn't really spark any interest in me 
Okay, track seven is called Man on a Mission. It's got a groovy, bluesy riff to start. Somewhat a kind of riff that Van Halen has been using a lot on this album. Uh, verses are sort of slightly funky, so I've got, I got a sort of funk funk rock thing going on, funk rock flavour, uh, which is not bad, but the song in general didn't do anything for me again. Um, Sammy Hagar's vocals are very raspy on this as well. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to be kind, but again, I've ended up just giving it a 6 out of 10. It's not a terrible song, but it, to me, to my ears, it's an uninteresting song. Track 8 is called The Dream Is Over. It's, it starts off with sort of like a choppy echoey riff and then it soon gives way to a really sweet classic Van Halen type riff a uh, little bit like the riff from, uh, from uh, Ain't Talking About Love um, you know it's quite it's got that same sort of tempo that same sort of melodic feel uh, Sammy Hagar's vocals are very good on this song uh, why isn't there more songs like this on the album maybe it's because I'm a cheesehead and I love commerciality and you know they don't want to be sounding too commercial uh, but this one is catchy it's melodic the best chorus by a long way on the album in my opinion you know maybe it's seen as cheesy or overly melodic and people don't like it when it's too poppy but I really like this song I mean Eddie he shreds out a really cool solo as well I think the dream is over is just like a standout standout tune so nine out of ten for the dream is over track nine is called right now um this one starts off with a like a piano motif nice little dancing uh, piano melody a descending melody melody line that sort of repeats uh, before settling down with sort of more like a AORE uh, piano uh, style you know it's got that sort of like it's the mid 80s piano style there's a chunky guitar riff in the backing uh, of the piano parts Hagar comes in with a nice vocal melody the pre-chorus in this song is really cool I, I like the pre-chorus more than the chorus even you know the chorus is simple it's catchy it could have been a bit better but still it's quite good um, the solo is very good as well I like right now it's a, it's a decent track uh, 7.5 out of 10 track 10 is just a short acoustic instrumental it's actually quite nice to listen to but I'm not gonna rate it because it's not a, a song proper but um, it, it's quite nice it's, it's a well-played little instrumental uh, uh, seg you into the uh, final track which is top of the world starts off with a very familiar Eddie Van Halen riff sounds like a nice commercial song to end with the chorus is pretty catchy the tempo is mid and steady throughout the melodies are very enjoyable this is a decent end again more songs like this and I would have been a happy bunny so I gave this song an 8 out of 10 my final thoughts on 30 years after the release of this album by Van Halen I forget the title even <laughs> for unlawful carnal knowledge um, my final thoughts is that um, barring a couple of songs which I've already mentioned two or three these songs just don't do anything for me they they showcase the band's abilities but i don't know song wise there's nothing memorable here uh, okay there's good guitar work there's some good vocals from uh, sammy hagar um you know the, the album's about to turn 30 so it, you know it's, it is a big milestone and it does sound quite dated at times uh, the production is not not the best you know i think some of the 80s van halen album sounded better than this one my overall rating for this is 6.18 out of 10 so just round it down to a 6 out of 10 um i'm sure van halen fans will be 
cursing my name, <laughs> cursing my family's name for this lowish rating for Van Halen. I know this album is not like one of their best, uh, according to actual Van Halen fans, but I'm sure some people really quite like this one. But after 30 years and a full listen, this one didn't really float my boat. But there's a couple of good songs, so it's not a dead loss, but um, not bad, not a complete disaster, but I won't be revisiting it anytime soon. Okay, sorry to Van Halen fans, stay tuned.